Thanks, Jonah. On what is a foggy start to your Sunday across a good chunk of North Texas, UNT and Denton sitting at 72 degrees, wind turbines spinning a little bit there. This is uh, normally the view of the airport. Hmm. Earlier this morning, you can actually see the terminal and the, uh, the runways off in the distance. Not so much now. No delays, though, at the moment, although that could be changing now that the fog is thickened up, uh, thickened up over DFW Airport. None of this is bringing rain. It's just some fog across North Texas this morning as uh, nothing is going on at the moment. But uh, if we can hit the heat of the day, actually, the longer the fog sticks around today, I think that will lessen storm chances later on this afternoon into this evening. So if you're stuck in the fog right now and stuck in the clouds, actually might not be a bad idea just to have that linger all day today because that'll get rid of any storm chances because without any sunshine, without any heat. It's going to be kind of hard for any thunderstorms to form later on today. But areas that see a little bit of sunshine, areas that heat up, that'll be areas that could see some pop up storms this afternoon into this evening. So some clouds hang around. Most of that fog uh, kind of scatters out and then we get some scattered thunderstorms this afternoon into the evening hours. Not everybody will see them. They'll be very hit or miss. But if you do find yourself underneath the thunderstorm, such as some of you did yesterday, it'll have heavy rain. It'll have lightning and could even have some hail and some strong winds. But any of that activity fizzles out kind of as we lose the heat of the day, 7 to 8 o'clock this evening. So I think your window for storms today, anywhere between about 2, 3 o'clock through 7, 8 o'clock this evening. Then we'll be watching another group of storms. This is the type that forms. So the storms today form in North Texas. The storms tonight are ones that form in West Texas or the Texas Panhandle and try and make a run at North Texas late tonight and into tomorrow morning. After midnight, arriving DFW area 2, 3 in the morning, could have some gusty winds, could have some heavy rain with that activity, but not a repeat of what we saw earlier this past week. You know, Tuesday morning where we had the 80, 90 plus mile an hour winds. I'm talking maybe 50 to 60 mile an hour winds, mostly just heavy rain as this activity moves in, but it will be moving out as we head into tomorrow morning, perhaps a little lingering at rain activity first thing tomorrow. Your severe weather threat today and tonight, it's a one on a scale of five. Today's thunderstorms can't rule out some gusty winds and some hail. Same deal tonight, can't rule, probably more so some wind tonight, can't rule out some wind, maybe a little bit of a hail tonight, but overall the severe weather threat, a one on a scale of five. As far as your coverage concern today, it's about 30% which means most of you stay dry. But once again, if you find yourself underneath the storm, no doubt you will know it this afternoon into the evening hours. And then your coverage tonight, I think a little bit higher because when we get those storm complexes moving into North Texas, generally the coverage ends up being a little bit higher. Now the exact track those storms take, well, sometimes they can just kind of have a mind of their own. Couldn't end up being a much higher coverage than about 50% tonight. Uh, but if you know, one, if the storm track kind of takes it a little farther north, a little farther south, some of you may miss out on the rain. So we'll keep an eye on that, but just know perhaps that st storm coverage couldn't end up being a little bit higher tonight and into tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow during the day, perhaps a little redevelopment of some showers and storms or some that try and move in during the afternoon. We'll keep an eye on that as well, because to be honest with you, that's the first time this computer model showed a little bit more activity during the day tomorrow. But I think your activity tomorrow is kind of like today, your scattered variety of showers and storms. Once the rain chances go away, temps go up 90s most of this week, some 90s this next weekend before some rain chances return with some 80s in store for the following week with perhaps a little bit better chance for rain again.